I'll go with Tim Reynolds when uh, coach sits. Okay. Wait a second. Go ahead, Tim. Uh, Rob on the other end? Yeah, Rob is on the other end. Yeah, coach, I'm here. Appreciate you, ma'am. Appreciate you. Hell of a job. Proud of you. You too, and we miss you, man. I'll see you when you get back here. Miss you guys too. Yeah. All right, let's get started. Go ahead, Tim. Eric, is it tough in this moment to reflect on what this bubble meant, what this journey meant to you guys, where this franchise was a year and a half ago? Is it? Um, I mean, first, uh, congratulations to the Laker organization. Um, it was, uh, it was great to share this stage, uh, with them and congratulations on, on the championship. Um, you know, they earned it. Um, they earned it, uh, in this series, um, if you want to, I can't, we can't thank the NBA enough uh, for this whole experience. Uh, this has just been extraordinary. Um, this bubble, this campus, uh, the safety protocols, um, and, and just the whole organization uh, of everything to be able to be a, a part of uh, something historic like this to continue our season. Uh, we felt, or we feel so, um, honored and grateful that that we were able to, get, to be a part of this and, and it took a, a big time collaboration between the league their vision uh the players association the leadership of the players association and the organizations organizations to make this happen um it's just really been incredible to to be a part of this uh, uh and you know obviously i want to thank everybody uh uh, in the Miami Heat organization, um, this has been a, such an unprecedented year. It, it's taken uh, everybody um, to be able to just go all in and and support uh, the small traveling party that came here to the bubble. But like Rob and a bunch of people working behind the scenes uh, that nobody gets to see, uh, we thank you. Uh, and then obviously, uh, the staff and the, and the players, um, actually in this, uh, environment, uh, we didn't get the final result that we wanted. Uh, but even what I mentioned uh, to the guys, uh, these are going to be lifetime memories that we have together. This locker room, has, regardless of whatever happens in the future, we're going to remember this year, this season this experience and that locker room, locker room brotherhood for the rest of our lives. Um, you know, you're in this business to be able to be around people like this. Um, and I can go on and on, but uh, the guys that, you know, competed and played uh, in this series, we had several guys that were not even close <laughs> to being 100% probably shouldn't have been playing, uh, but that's how this this group uh, was. They wanted to do it for each other, um, and I just I'm really bummed, you know, that we couldn't find a way to to get over the hump and and uh, and finish the season with a win. But uh, that's taking nothing away from the Lakers. They played great, particularly tonight. This is the mandatory question, unfortunately. Just what was the scene in the room? Uh, probably as you can imagine, you know, we, we have a, a very proud, competitive, heartfelt group. The group is very connected. Um, and I don't think anybody, want, any one of us were prepared uh, for this. It took me a few minutes just to gather myself to be able to even uh, figure out what to say to the team. Uh, 
none of us had anticipated, you know, this. Um, yeah, so guys are, are, are pretty down as you, as you can imagine. Um, but it's what a wonderful group to be around. Uh, really just uh, uh, amazing uh, people. Uh, these memories uh, that we'll have. Uh, again, that transcends even the game. As disappointing as this loss was, um, those moments and, and memories uh, in between and this whole experience will be something that we can all take with us you know, for the rest of our careers and, and the rest of our lives. Rob, we'll take two oh, more and then go to you. Sorry. Yeah, one more thing too. I can't even believe our Definitely want to thank all the families. Uh, this has been incredibly challenging for everybody. Uh, for everybody uh, that's been involved in this bubble, um, the wives, the families, the kids, uh, everybody that's made sacrifices, people that say uh, it's not that big a, a deal to be away from your family for that long. Uh, it's easy to say that when you're not in it. Um, and a, a lot of families had to make big time sacrifices to hold down the fort while we're chasing our basketball dreams. Um, you know, so I want to uh, definitely shout out uh, to my wife, Nikki, and, and all the, uh, the families, the mothers, uh, dads, wives, kids, and everybody that uh, you know, stuck with it, you know, while these uh, were able to, to do all this. Go to Malika and then Mark Spears. We, we've talked so much about him in this case. What does it mean to you that he has continuously described the Miami Heat organization as the place he now kind of finally sees his home? I, I think that's what we're all looking for, right? Is to be a part of a family. Um, and to be a part of something uh, where you felt all along that you were searching for something where you can just be yourself. You don't have to make any apologies uh, for who you are. Um, we've been searching for, for him for a long time. <laughs> and I think he's been searching for something uh, like us, you know, for a while. Um, and uh, yeah. again, you know, you're in this business to be around amazing people and to develop incredible relationships it is part about it is about the game it is about winning uh, but it also is about being around locker rooms that you will remember you know for a long long time and, and um, I'm just you know I'm just thrilled to be able to have an opportunity to coach Jimmy and 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 have a relationship with him uh, and move forward you know um, chasing this dream it's not going to stop you know we're all wired the same um, so we'll get over this and at some point, you know, I don't expect anybody to get over it tonight. Um, but we have, uh, we have some brothers in arms now moving forward that uh, we share the same values and the same goals. And, uh, and that's part of the battle of just, uh, you know, finding that, uh, that kind of alignment. Yeah. 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 And now how about going, even just going out there and playing tonight? <laughs> That's just crazy. There's, there's no way he should have been out there. You know, he texted me when he, the night he got hurt um, in game one, he texted, I got a text literally around 4.15 in the morning. He said, coach, don't give up man, on the series. Give me a chance. I'll, I'll find my way back. Um, talked to the trainers the next day. They said, not a chance. And sure enough, you know, he's basically uh, begging every one of us, you know, the last three games just to give him a chance. Um, and that just shows you his character and how much he wants to give to, not for himself. He's, he's already proven himself. He's, a, he's one of the most decorated players uh, in this game. Uh, but he wanted to do it for his teammates. And he's another one of those special human beings that I'm just honored that I've been able to coach him and develop that kind of relationship 
you know, with him over the years. And we've been through some tough times. Uh, and, you know, we want to make that promise to him that, that we are going to, to stay focused on, on trying to build a championship team. And he hung in there with us. And um, it was a heck of a run. He had an amazing year this year. Coach, um, first of all, I wanted for you to talk about the, what made those emotions hit at the beginning. And also, uh, you still got that badge on your. Yeah. Why is it important for you to still have it? And uh, uh, what do you think about the whole social justice movement for here for the last three months? Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you, you bring that up because, um, you know, I think we've all been uh, inspired uh, that not only that we see something that's absolutely wrong um, and you don't want to just talk about it. You want to actually be a part of, of the change. Um, and we don't want to, any one of us to, to forget about, you know, everything that's still happening uh, out there. And because of the color of, of someone's skin, um, the emotions, look, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm not even like that. I'm not even like that as, as a person. I just think all of these experiences, this whole year, being in this bubble, being away from your family, you know, being away from your kids, being away from your wife, and going through something like this that you didn't even like contemplate. We thought we were going to Game Seven uh, for sure. Um, so I don't know. I don't even know how to explain these emotions. I'm sure my wife's watching, wondering who the heck this is, you know, right now. Rob, we can go to you. Okay, next question will be from Naveen Ganglani from the Philippines. Hi, Coach. Mabuhay, congratulations on making it to the finals. Mabuhay. Since, Mabuhay. since the start of the season, the growth of Tyler and Bam have been huge in bringing you guys up to this point. Just from where they were when the season started to where they are now and where you think they can get to the future, how excited are you for that? And how big is it to, for them to have someone like Jimmy to lead the way and set an example? Uh, there's no question about it. Uh, the time is always now uh, with us. And if you have the right leadership you know, with Jimmy and Gorn and UD, uh, then your young players uh, can be all about now. Um, I think we are all very, Feel very blessed uh, to have somebody like Bam, you know, that that somebody that fits our fabric, our culture. Uh, he is wise and competitive and savvy and mature, way beyond his years. I have to remind myself sometimes uh, that he just turned 23 in the bubble here. Uh, he feels like he's 28 years old. Um, he feels like he's been in the league for 10 years. Um, and he's, he's took on that kind of responsibility and leadership role for us. Uh, and there really is, there is no ceiling uh, to his potential. Uh, and the same thing with the rest of our young guys. Tyler, you know, was a teenager when we started this bubble. And he's totally different now from where he was even in January. Um, and because of the way he approaches it and works, uh, he will continue uh, to get uh, remarkably better, you know, fast. All right, final question for Coach Spolstrom from Nick Friedel. Oh, I know how proud you are of the group and what they've shown throughout the bubble, but specific to Jimmy, how would you describe and put into context how he was consistently able to raise his level of play when you guys needed him to, especially in the finals? Uh, Jimmy has a superstar competitive spirit to him. And you try, if you try to uh, evaluate him or put him in, in a conventional box of, of how you view a uh, uh, modern day basketball player, you're totally missing the boat uh, on JB. Uh, he is a winner, he is a leader, uh, he is a motivator, a mentor, uh, and just a supreme competitor. Uh, and when you get to this level, I think so many people uh, forget about that, uh, the competition and uh, what you can bring out of an entire franchise 
when you're wired to that level of fierce competitiveness. All right, coach. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Thank you. Okay. Nice job. All right.